would you welcome into the red corner, Marty Wolf. <laughs> And would you welcome his opponent into the blue corner, Connor McCormack. This is a welterweight K1 bout over three two-minute rounds of action as sponsored by Campbell Nutrition. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 169 pounds and represents the elite training center, Marty Wolf. And in his opponent in the blue corner, he weighed in at 165 pounds. He represents Team Pechnoi, Connor McCormack. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Sam Amidi. The action continues after the break here at LFC. This another K1 showcase at welterweight. Marty Wolf from Elite Training Center out of the red corner taking on Connor McCormick from Team Pet Choi. Marty coming out showcasing those tie boxing skills he is known for. Oh, big right hand down there. But oh my goodness, return from a smile from Connor McCormack. Wow. And McCormack looked so loose there, trying to set traps and capitalizes. Gonna get a quick check here from the main man, Sam the Man Amini. And we're back at it here in the LFC. Connor McCormack known for his extensively good striking background. And fights long and tall very well. Hands low, but dancing on the balls of his feet. Marty Wolf, though, Hands very tall, trying to parry and paw that left arm in. And I love the way Connor leans back, pulls him in, switches up, and looks for the head kick. Open palms there, very indicative of a tie fighter. Marty moving off really well, but you got to think about the psyche. Now he got dropped with that. I believe it was overhand right, Chris. Have a look at the replay for that, but now he's been dropped. Does that make him more tentative? Nice check. Marty Wolf continuing to stand in front of Connor. And Connor, a little bit more of a movement based striking approach. And look at the way he catches that kick. Going to get a warning again, not in the rule set. Standard in Muay Thai. This being K1, slightly different here. Oh, big head kick there from Connor. Again, with that big overhand right. 
looking for its mark. Had success with that earlier on. Oi, big head kick, switch kicks. Oh, return fire from Marty Wolf. Who nods, both fighters, a mirror image there, both switching up and, you know, Connor known for being a very technical striker, being able to show some of that off here. Marty though, training so hard for this fight was the word, is certainly in it to win it still. His ext extensive background, great head movement. We've seen some kicks here, but I like the way he's commanded this fight. He smiled and returned fire, knocked his opponent down, and the even the way he catches the kicks, it just oozes confidence, Chris. Second round here at K1 Rules. Both fighters under 170 for this one. And it's McCormack again, continuing to show a lot of angles with those hands low, and then the switch. That was a technique that proved very fruitful towards the end of the round. And it would seem to me, Wolf making some adjustments with the boxing, Dean. There's some of that beautiful head movement we know Connor for. Keeping his hands a bit low, but able to move his head off the center line. Really confident there, using like the distance. He knows where the striking range is imminent. Dane Jane knows when he's out of it. That's the key here. Marty's trying to find a way in. Connor with quick hips, flicking those all the way upstairs, trying to sneak over the guard. But a very determined Marty Wolf in this one continues to press his man with those head kicks. It would seem to me that Conor McCormack has been able to show a speed advantage though throughout this fight. Conor McCormack really light on his feet, able to fire off at any angle, moving backwards as well as forwards. And continuing to fight very tall, Oy. very rangy and finishing with those head kicks. Oy. And that's the first one to get through the guard. You could see it earlier in this round, him trying to sneak those in. Connor's got exceptional power in his kicks. You can see the redness there on the left side of Marty's body and indeed the left side of his cheek. A testament to the chin of Marty Wolf though. He, he's been knocked down in the first round here, but he's been eating some heavy shots. Oh, stiff jab for McCormack. And the team Pechnoy fighter Looking for the head kick again, windmilling up over the guard of his opponent. I love what McCormack's doing here. He's really peppering him with his hands. You'll see him stick his hands out there in the guard and he'll touch. See there? You see he touched the glove of Marty and he knows the distance. And he knows what shot to fire off at that specific distance. And that certain movement, Dean, certainly inspiring confidence to continue with power. Very important here. Conor McCormack is oozing confidence. I said it before, I'll say it again. Marty seems to be fading away behind Cormack's dominant positioning and dominant power. Bullfighters are ready and we move to the third and final round. Two more minutes here at 77 kilograms. And look at the whiz kid, Connor McCormack. I think it's one of those nights, Dean, that you dream of. You're taking on a really tough and determined fighter in Marty Wolf, but you're beating him to the punch. You're beating him to the kick. Everything seems to be working thus far for McCormack. Wolf in this one, Wolf in his face, definitely keeping his opponent in the headlights, Dean, but McCormack with a great start here in round three. Marty Wolf knowing for being great with kicks, but you need distance to throw kicks, Chris, and Connor, like I said before, he's parrying out with his hands. He's feeling where Marty is, and he's firing off the specific strike in that instance. See, there he touches. Watch him come in. Beautiful to watch, body shot there. Nice body kick there on the outside. Connor just outworking technically in his counterpart in Marty Wolf. True ring mastery here. McCormack though is game. He's absolutely standing in front of his opponent in Marty, but he's not offering a stationary target in the pocket. Often moving his head or parrying shots or cupping and intercepting them. Look at that, flying in switching up midair and then both fighters continue to engage but it's McCormack now having to show a little bit of defense against Marty those are some good shots from Marty Marty needs to keep pumping that jab switch kick from Marty there let's see some feigns and fates from Marty try and bait Connor into doing something or perhaps being in a certain position that he can strike off Marty's just finding it hard to get in and get off at this point and Marty certainly has the power, he certainly has the technicality to throw those strikes correctly. I mean, that whipping round kick from the back is really nice. But he just ran into another right hand from McCormack. 
And I feel it's been the footwork and the positional control of McCormack. A smile from both fighters, they embrace. Marty looks like he could go another round there. All credit to him, he was definitely a game opponent, but McCormack perhaps just offering a little bit too complex of a fight game. Conor McCormack came in ready. He said he was ready, he's training six, sometimes seven times a week. So he's really on point there with his striking, and he's got the endurance to back it up. Beautiful showcase of skills here in the LFC. Please, let's hear it for both your warriors in the cage. But we do have a unanimous decision. Our judges in favor of the blue corner, Connor McCormack. 